Uh, the major risk factors are total bilirubin or transcutaneous bilirubin in the high risk zone. Jaundice within the first 24 hours because mostly it's a pathologic cause of jaundice. However, with delayed cot clamping these days, some jaundice may be seen in the first 24 hours. You don't need to act differently if the trend of increase is not too bad. The blood group incompatibility with positive direct antiglobulin test or other known hemolytic disease, gestational age of 35 to 36 weeks, previous sibling receiving phototherapy, cephalometomor significant bruising, exclusive breastfeeding, particularly if nursing is not going well and the weight loss is excessive. This is more important in the primary gravida mothers. And East Asian race has been shown to have a higher risk of jaundice, possibly due to liver maturity factors. Minor risk factors where the bilirubin falls in the high intermediate risk zone and the gestation is 37 to 38 weeks. Jaundice observed before discharge, previous sibling with jaundice but not needing treatment, macrosomic infant of diabetic mother, and maternal age greater than or equal to 25 years and male gender. Uh, these pointers indicate low risk where we don't need to be that worried and the follow-up can be delayed as well if needed. So the bilirubin in the low risk zone gestational age equal to or greater than 41 weeks, exclusive bottle feeding, black race, discharge from the hospital after 72 hours of age where mostly they would have come into this category or if needing treatment, you would have treated already.